Today, I want to talk to you about saying what you mean and meaning what you say. And I want to read to you from Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse 33, where we read this. Again, you have heard it said of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform your oaths before the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all, neither by heaven, nor for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Nor shall you swear by your head, because you cannot make one hair white or black. But let your yes be yes, and your no, no, for whatever is more than these comes from the evil one. Now, in this particular section of the Sermon on the Mount, it shows us the great respect that the Jewish people had for God's law, but that respect was often based more on tradition than on a correct understanding of God's law. In this passage, Jesus dealt with their incorrect understanding of the law against swearing oaths. That's why Jesus began at verse 33 of Matthew chapter 5, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not swear falsely. Now, it's clear enough in the Hebrew scriptures. One of the Ten Commandments says, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. That's Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. Yet, by the time of Jesus, the religious leaders, often referred to in the New Testament as the scribes and the Pharisees, those religious leaders had twisted this law against the taking of God's name in vain so that it allowed taking virtually every other name in a false oath. You see, in those days, it was accepted and common to swear all the time, just not to swear by the name of God. Jesus mentioned that some would swear by heaven, or some would swear by the earth, or by Jerusalem, or by one's own head. Jesus explained later in the Gospel of Matthew he said that it was also common to swear by the temple or to swear by the gold in the temple or to swear by the altar or to swear by the offering on the altar. That's in Matthew chapter 23. See, in this, maybe they kept the letter of the law, but they did not keep the intent or the spirit of the law. Now, correcting this misunderstanding, Jesus said, do not swear at all. Jesus reminded us that God is part of every oath anyway. <laughs> if you swear by heaven, earth, Jerusalem, or even your own head, you swear by God and your oath must be honored. You see, what Jesus tells us here in Matthew chapter 5 is that instead of swearing any kind of oath to establish that you're telling the truth, you should just simply let your yes be yes. Having to swear or make an oath shows the weakness of our word. It demonstrates that there's not enough weight in our own character to confirm what we say. Now, sometimes a person is entirely truthful, yet they're not believed. Jesus is the prime example of this. But we should make sure that there is nothing in what we say or in our approach to the truth that gives somebody else the valid reason to doubt us. You know what? We should say what we mean and mean what we say. And God helping us, we'll do that today.